What up? Anybody home? Are you guys out enjoying the summertime? Time to sit back and unwind. Let's see if this mofo went online or not. I'm just doing a little testy testing. Do a little testy testing. <clears throat> Testies, testies, one, two, three. Do, 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 do. I see a video. I know, I'm just testing if anybody is out there. I don't know if they is. Hi, Miss White. How are you doing today? Happy, what's today? Wednesday? Happy Wednesday. It's my day off, so I'm always confused. What's going on? I'm testing, so I hope you don't expect too much. Pugs, what's up? Pugs and thugs in the house. Pugs and thugs. I'm good. It's my day off. What up? I'm good. Just trying something a little different here. Go see if we can maybe do have a little fun later tonight or tomorrow. You know, because I'm all about that fun. All about that fun. What are you up to, pugs and thugs? Hanging out in the hizzy? Pugs, you really have an RV? Or were you just playing along with us and taking us for an RV trip? Uh, when we were going to go camping at the beach. Pugs and thugs. Pugs and thugs. Uh, hang on, you guys. Bear with me. I'm an idiot and I'm testing. But if you guys got something you want to chat about, I'm all up for it. Bring it out me. Bring it at me. I won't talk about it. What is going on with my YouTube? It's going to be real boring because I'm just testing. <laughs> I hope you guys are all doing good. Having a good Wednesday. It's summertime. Almost official. Hey, Mary O. How are you doing? I uh, wanted to hear your advice on vaping. Hmm... Well, um, are you smoking now? Hi, Ansi. Lurking because I'm working. I got you on that. That's what I do in the day. So are you smoking right now? Um, sorry, I have a cable in my way. <laughs> are you a smoker right now, Miss White? Because I can send you some advice. Or basically give you a little bit of advice based on my experience. If you're trying to quit. Okay. Um, what kind of cigarettes do you smoke and how many cigarettes do you smoke a day? If you don't mind, I'm not trying to be nosy, but it'll help me like figure out some stuff for you. You sold the RV. Damn, that was fast in one day. Tilly Maymay was all spread out in the bed after her, after her hot shower. And then the next day it got sold. Damn, girl, you're quick. I got some stuff I could use sold. I got some stuff I could use sold. You don't do tents and bugs. I gotcha. I gotcha. So I also now have learned that Pugs is into a little role play. <laughs> little role play. Okay, I roll them. Back there, $8 a pack, 80 a cart, and I smoke a little under a pack. Okay. So you can probably start at like, uh, I would say you could probably start at like six milligrams or three milligrams of nicotine. Um, I am, so it depends on what you want. If you don't mind something that's a little, um, kind of the size of, let me think, what would it be? A little smaller than, it's a little, a little bit smaller than like a, 
an iPhone, but thicker, of course, this could be a little heavier. You can do something um, either with a built-in battery or something that has external batteries, which is what I recommend, <clears throat> depending on what your budget is. Probably for about, oh, 150 bucks, you could pick up a really nice sub-ohm setup. Um, and sub ohm just basically means that you're going to be using what's called free base nicotine. So you use either three or six milligrams. I might try three and if that's not enough, up it to six, because sometimes if you have a really strong nicotine, people will find it makes them cough just because they get like what's called a throat hit. Um, and yeah, I could recommend a couple devices to you if you wanted could have you email me if you want to send me an email. My email is here and you can email me and just let me know. <coughs> uh, you can let me know privately what your budget is. If you mind having something that is a little larger, I would say that's going to do you better for like long term. Um, if you want something very dainty, um, which some people do prefer, there are a lot of pod systems out there like uh, the Jewel, but we could get you into something that you could customize to your own flavor and your own nicotine level instead of being locked into the four flavors of the Jewel. Yeah, free base like Kimmy P. So you still have a boat. Ooh, we got to go floating in the boat. Your email is your name. Yeah, I won't. Don't worry. I'm, I'm not a doxer of the house. But that's my email. If you want to go ahead and email me, I can make some recommendations. I mean, if you're rolling your own, you're actually probably getting real tobacco versus all of this crap uh, that's in a, a cigarette. Yeah, I, I'd be happy to help you out. Hey, Karma Biatch. Yeah, some people do really well with six. Uh, if you're a pack a day smoker, six is great. And you might have a little bit more nicotine, but what I've been finding is when I recommend six to people, um, the inhale on a sub ohm tank is so different for them that they start to cough. And I don't want anybody giving up. I don't want anybody to give up. Um, hey, K Mello, what's happening? What's up? I'm just doing a test right now. I'm not doing any screen sharing thingy, so I can't. I just set this up to see. You quit smoking in February 2018, been vaping ever since. So was it one and done for you, Karma Biatch? Was it one and done? Like, did you just start vaping and you just quit like that? Okay. So what I tell people that have that experience, uh, Miss White, is basically don't worry about it. Like, for me, I because it was so long ago, and the devices were so freaking crappy. Um, what I did was I kept my cigarettes. So I did a little of each. It wasn't one and done back in 2007 or 2008, whenever it was, 2007. Uh, as soon as we started getting better devices and better flavorings, better nicotine, and I started being able to mix my own, it was one and done. Now we have such great stuff out there that it's just, it's so easy. Like if you just start vaping, you like, you get that nicotine, you get your, you know, hand to mouth sort of thing taken care of and you're good. Uh, Onyx Locks is a vape goddess. Love it so much. Getting some multi-grain tortilla chips and salsa. Look at you all healthy. Hi, little lady. What's happening? Happy Wednesday or Thursday or whatever. I just, I want to see if this would work. I want to see if it would work. Seems like it does. It's pretty crazy, right? How that works. So standard YouTube license is whatever. 
fair use. And then Creative Commons is as long as you give me credit. Okay, we don't want that. Because to be honest with you, there's only a couple people I care about ever like using my crap. And it's because they're mean ass people calling me a mean ass person. <laughs> when I'm not a mean ass person, I could give two fucks about what people say. Okay, lime tortilla are so good. Yes, they are. You hate the smell. You're super OCD. You hate the smell of cigarettes or you hate the smell of vaping. Because once you quit smoking, OMG, you can smell the trash can a half a mile away. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, once you, um, this is very freaking weird what just happened on my YouTube channel. Wow. I don't know what is going on. It says I'm streaming, but I think I might have lost it. Cigarette smoke. You thought you were pregnant walking through the store by a meat freezer almost puked. Right. Yeah. <laughs> It's weird. I remember being on a lunch break one time um, and everybody was smoking. And I, to be honest with you, I don't care. Like if people want to smoke, that's all good. You know what I mean? But they were all smoking. And then there was a bunch of people that were vaping. And I was mixing e-liquid for almost everybody on my job and taking no money. And they were all giving me money. And it was just funny. And so they'd be like, oh, I want this and this. And I just mix it up and be like, how do you do it? And I'm like, don't you guys understand that these flavor, these companies are throwing like a couple flavors in a bottle and telling you it's gold and then you believe it. It's crazy. But anyway, so the smokers are in one area and the vapors would be kind of hang out in the other area and like nobody shit on anybody for smoking. Like, you know, it's, it's one of those things, but that damn trash can was like, pfft. On the all the way on the other side of the parking lot, we could smell it. It was crazy. And Karma Biatch, when I moved into my apartment um, where I live now, the town, the uh, whatever the fuck it is, duplex or whatever, um, the neighbors smoked. And I came in, and my landlady's, I'm like, it smells like sick. somebody had been smoking in here. She's like, no, 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 no. They only smoked outside. I was like, this is so weird. Like, I can smell it from like a block away, like the neighbors, because we have a lot. It's a big, big property and people are a little spread out. So the people on the, all the way on the other side, they sit out all night, they drink beers, they just kick it, you know, they're drinking beers, smoking. And I can smell their cigarette smoke and they're like literally four lots away. It's crazy. I don't mind the smell. I just, um, Notice it, I should say. I'm not one of those like, oh, I quit smoking. You all suck. <laughs> You're not going 30 miles for chip, 30 miles for chips. What in the hell are you talking about, Pugs? <laughs> Who went 30 miles for chips? Oh, Costco is 30 miles away. I gotcha. Uh, oh, I, I got to fix something, you guys. I'm on top chat. I'm, let's see. Thanks for coming to test. Is this a vape channel? So my original intent was for it to be a channel where people could come. And um, basically, I started noticing in our community that there were a lot of people that wanted um to quit smoking or they'd be like, Oh, I've been smoking so much. I want to quit smoking. I wish I could do vaping, blah, 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 blah. So what I was going to do is just kind of go on somebody else's channel, talk about vaping and kind of try to answer some questions. Well, what ended up happening is that didn't work out. Uh, that person didn't want to do collapse period for a hot minute. So I said, fuck it. I'll just like create a channel and we'll only talk about vaping. But in the meantime, a whole bunch of like drama popped off. And so this is a space where we can come talk about 
baby and I'll answer some beginner questions because I feel like what's out there is so advanced for people just getting started. And then um, I'd like to also be able to have some fun and laugh and crack jokes because it's funny. And then we can bullshit. You know, I mean, we can talk a little like I have in the about me section what this channel is about, but I'll tell you, I want to, I, you know, I basically, if people have questions about getting a new setup, getting a new vape because we have too many choices, I want to tell them what I've tried, what's worked for me, what I see working for the people in the vape community, and then, you know, get them in on the cheap, see if it works for them, not have them waste a bunch of money. Um, and then we're going to sheet some, sheet the shit, crack some jokes and maybe even have a little, uh, intelligent conversation here and there because, uh, we're allowed to do that. So yeah, that's, that's basically it. But if you don't have a sense of humor, I beg you, please God unsubscribe. Like if you think everything is so serious, please just unsubscribe because it's not, it's not that deep. It's not that serious. There's no, like nobody hates anybody. Nobody really cares that much. So, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, if you don't know how to grow a sense of humor, I don't mind if you unsubscribe. Um, and that's not directed at any one person, just in general. I, I would rather have like 10 people come in here and ask questions and bullshit than 150 people ever in here like, throwing shade at other people or whatever. So yeah. Hey, Sandy. Love you so much. Okay, Melo. Yeah, we got some regular people that come in here and kick it. And um, anybody new is, of course, welcome. Lovers, haters. I don't, I hate that word hater. It's so stupid and overused. Gosh, Sandy, I hope you're doing good. Sorry, I didn't write you back because I was setting up this. Um, it's something different than stream stream labs and it actually works through a browser and it's kind of cool. And I think I kind of like it. All of my elements might not be working, but I hope they are. I can't see the chat like I should. I'm going to try to see if I can go watch the video from my other little guy. But yeah, um, I hope everybody knows like there's no malintent going on here. I just don't give a fuck enough. To have any like negative intent towards anybody of course there are people i don't like of course i don't care for them but um it's called not subscribing to them and staying away what up lori poor lori she's got to go fix shit you've been lurking you haven't been lurking i'm trying to see is Batissimo. what the fuck is Batissimo doing he ain't working that son of a biatch Reset. Okay. So he should be working now. Bautissimo, what are you doing, dude? Get to cracking. Get to cracking. You guys even see any chats from freaking Bautissimo? Hi, little lady. How you doing, girl? How are you doing? Sorry if I missed anybody. I'm, I'm testing. Has anybody seen that ugly ass Bautissimo? Uh, Sandy took a cat nap. Good job. Good job. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Smell smoke from my way. Okay, I think I'm caught up on your chats. Man, this chat box, does that suck for you guys? Is it tiny? One word and definition of hate should be reserved for real world. Even then, I only hate one person. And that's me. She hates me. Hi, Miss Nevins. <laughs> I know you don't hate me, Kamala. I'm giving you shit. Can you guys even read the stupid chat? Fuck, it's so damn small. Let me fix that. That's ridiculous. Dude. That is redonkadonk. That is redonkadonk. Oh, maybe I can't fix it while I'm live. Well, I apologize. It looks really bad. Uh, uh. 
All right, you guys, gasp now. Who am I? Uh, just kidding. Okay, so let's see. Can I adjust this mofo? Where is my chant ball? Where is my chant ball? Where is my chant ball? Yeah, I made it. Woo, I made it way too smart. There we go. Let's make it a little bigger. Let's make it a little bigger. Bear with me, guys. This is a test. This is a test of the emergency broadcast. Now stop. All right. Do it. Let's see. What happens if I refresh? Does it end my stream? Am I? If it ends it, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, that's done. Does it make it bigger? Does it make it bigger? Yeah. Does it make it bigger? Yeah. Send to live broadcast. Hang on one second. Send. Here we go. Boom. Shaka laka laka laka. Give me just a second, guys. I'm playing. I'm playing, y'all. We ain't got time for playing. I'm just saying. We out here trying to function. We out here trying to function, bitch. Okay, let's see how this works. Does it work? Does it update in real time? I think it does. Pugs and thugs. All right. Okay, I missed a bunch of messages. I'm sorry. What vape pen do you have? Sandy, you didn't even tell me. What the hell am I doing, Lori? I went live as a test because I think I found my niche. People lo loved the ASMR so much. I got so many messages. They loved it so much. But I'm doing a little test to see if we could spice it up just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I'll spice it up just a little bit. Yeah, they loved it so much. I got so many messages. Look at this. We can adjust in real time. Yeah, I think we will. But what we're going to do is we're going to have um, <laughs> Ancy. Ancy in the house. British Chippy. Wait a minute. I'm from the true crime community, liking your relaxed dreams and ASMR content. Okay, so just so you guys know, there's like, it's just a joke. It's a joke. And we just tried not to laugh. Like we tried to <laughs> just be stupid. You know what I mean? So it's a joke. Don't take it seriously. And welcome from the true crime community. Do you have a channel? Uh, British Chippy? Let's go look. I'm going to go spy on you. Go to channel. You do have a little channel. What are you doing? Look at your little cute face. You better start doing some videos. Uh, start doing some videos, British Chippy. We'll come watch you. Yes, that is Seattle. That is Seattle. Yeah, it is fun to have zero drama. <laughs> British Chippy. You don't stream. You don't have to stream, but you're so cute. You should. Oh, God. Sorry. My chair hates me right now. Tilly May May. Tilly May, we love you some itch. Um... It's no joke is the funniest thing. Okay. I'm glad you guys got the humor in it. Because there's no, it's no, that's no hate, people. There's no hate. I love Cece so much. And I feel like she probably hates me now. I hope she doesn't. She's such a sweet lady. I love her so much. Pineapple blonde. I haven't had a sick in nine years. Quick cold turkey. Wish I'd vaped. Wasn't even a thing then. It sure was a thing then, but it, man, was it barely a thing. But, but good for you. You're better off with nothing because vaping is harm reduction. It's definitely not perfect. What up, Muffin Mouse? 
What up, Muffin Mouth? Okay, Mello. Yes, yes. K okay, Mello. Prayers to you and your daughter. We want you to be good. That's like serious. Can't have all that. Not up for the strikes. I'm nice, but I get struck for reacting to the shit. Yeah, there's an issue with that. Sally Spencer, our South African queen in the house. Yeah, definitely keep us updated, K-Mello. I mean, that is some... You guys, like, it would be so cool. K-Mello's daughter is uh, needing some good energy, prayers, happy thoughts. For sure. Can you guys even read this freaking chat? It's so damn tiny. It's lame in the thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. I sound like a freaking. It says it's huge on the thing, but that's what he said, right? Oh, wait a minute. I didn't save my settings. I didn't save my settings. Let me save my settings. You know, I kind of like this. I kind of like this because it will, uh, it's just, it's a web. It's web-based. I don't even have to download any kind of crap on my uh, computer at all. It's pretty great. Edit. Update this. Biatch. Paste. Go. Man, this is amazing. Hang on one second. I just gotta gotta make sure I got it right. Oh, I think you hear the cops at my door. Just kidding. <laughs> That's not funny. Ooh. <laughs> God's gonna God's gonna get me, you guys. God's gonna get me. He's gonna get me. I better call Reverend Tom. Let's adjust this. Send a live. There we go. Now you can read the damn chat. Jesus. Okay. Um, there we go. That's much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be super tiny, but that's better now. And I can kick it up from 720, but it's only at 30 frames per second, so it doesn't look so great. You need the emojis. What emojis? The emojis. Nightbot's a bitch. Oh, really? I wasn't there, but I'll check it out. What are you guys doing? Uh, mixing your own vape juice. How difficult is it? Not difficult at all, Muffin Mouse. Not difficult at all. As a matter of fact, it's very, very simple and you can see just how simple it is um if you want for a pretty small investment i'd say maybe under 50 bucks you can pick up um what are called yeah really you can pick up what are called basic bottles and they come uh with 50 milliliters of pre-fill vg pg and uh, nicotine at whatever level that you pick and then you can also um, pick up some one-shot flavorings from companies like One Hit Wonder. I don't know if you've ever heard of like Muffin Man. Um, uh, what else? Muffin Man, Rocket Man. I'm trying to think. There's like a strawberry milk from DIY or Dye Vaping. But if you're interested in learning how to mix, um, I would definitely... I would definitely check out this channel. Um, he is a bit um, on the advanced side, but this particular channel, he's actually live right now. Um, I wouldn't recommend the live. It's going to be a little bit probably, well, I shouldn't say I would, wouldn't recommend the live. I would recommend checking out the live that will happen this Friday at um what would it be i think it's 8 p.m eastern this friday um i would check out d 
DIY or Die Vaping's channel. Let me see if I can paste it. I would subscribe to this channel, Wayne Walker. It's probably um, for a 28-year-old kid, the pioneer of uh, e-liquid mixing on YouTube. I would check out that link. <clears throat> and if you need some recommendations for videos or mixers, things like that. So you can go with one shots or you can go with just finding a couple e-liquid recipes that you seem to look okay to you online um, that are by mixers. If you tell me what profiles you think you're interested in. By profiles, I mean fruits. Let's say you really like, you think you'd like fruits or you think you'd like dessert flavors like caramels and, uh, I don't know, desserty flavors like chocolate donut, things like that. Um, you know, depending on what flavor profiles you're interested in, you could just find a couple recipes you like. Um, there's something called, and this has been coined lately, like a three, two, one, um, where it's basically like a three a three ingredient recipe. Um, you buy those three flavors. Um, you get your PG, your VG, your nicotine and a scale, a bottle, mixed e-liquid, man. And you might not love everything you mix, but boy, it's, it's a lot easier. You read vanilla custard is good. I, actually, vanilla custard is my jam. Vanilla custards are my jam. I am all custard all day, all vanilla, all day. But I do mix other, other stuff. Um, hang on one second. Yeah, Muffin Mouse, if you're interested, um, stick around. I'm probably going to have some stuff that will be... Uh, related to related to mixing specifically but i definitely diy or dye vaping is the i would say the top source for um for e-liquid uh, mixing and he's on there right now what he's talking about right now is the pmta which is the pre-market tobacco application process because some news just came out about what vapor companies are going to have to go through in order to continue to produce products. What big tobacco and big pharma and the FDA have done basically is enacted these laws where something like a battery is now considered a tobacco product because they're losing that many customers to vaping. They're big tobacco is losing that many customers to vaping. So they're trying to figure out a way to make vaporizer, you know, non-combustible uh, nicotine products that aren't even really nicotine. They're trying to categorize them as tobacco so that they can tax them the same way. Um, and then he's also talking about cloning, which is <laughs> something where, and I think what he's talking about is cloning recipes. I haven't looked at the video because he's live and I'm live, but uh, cloning would be taking a recipe that you buy from a big e-liquid company and then trying to duplicate it, which no one can do it. We don't know what's in it. We can, there's certain things we can vape and be like, oh, I know this has this flavoring in it because you could just taste it. But usually what you do is end up making things better than what they were. But yeah, yeah, not too many decisions at all, Southern Mom. I could help you make some decisions if you needed to. Very, we can go real basic and we can get real deep if you want to. Yeah, right now I got a. Oh, are you hacking into your jewel right now, Camelo, to refill it? Because those coils in that jewel, in that pot, are only supposed to be good for the two mil. Only supposed to be good for the two mil girl. What are you doing over there? What are you guys doing over there?
Give me one second. My stupid night bot is all messed up. It's all messed up. I just want to make sure there were some people that I used to promote here. They got all nasty. I just want to make sure their links aren't in here anymore because that's gross. Um, and I don't mean anything other than the fact that I think they suck. Uh, 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 uh. Blah, blah, blah. All right. I really want to test the Streamlabs element, but I don't know if that'll work. Okay, so we got Life Rewinded, Eric G. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Hello, Starlight, Whiskey Gypsy. Barbara Leone, Pink Lady Luck, Stephanie Brown, Angel Roth, Angie MD, Nikki Lee, Stopgap. Okay, well, it looks like we're good. Looks like we're good. If I need to put anybody else in there, I'm happy to do it. All right. Stopgap is going to be on tomorrow night. I believe it will be on after ladies night. If you guys want to go subscribe to that channel, it's going to be their very last show ever there are vapors who talk about non vape related things uh kind of just bullshitting right but i feel like if i can get enough people to come over there and hang out it will not be their last show ever and so i would love that um do do do, do. let's see uh southern mom i'm sorry i got a cable on my way southern mom I've only used the pen. I guess that's what they call it. Well, there are various types. No, Ladies Night on, is on Diane's channel on Thursday night. Thursday night. So Thursday night, there will be a show on Stop Gap. You see Nightbot promoted that channel for me. Um, and I can get an exact time for you guys. I'll put it on my community post. I really want to support Graham and those guys production uh, it will be after ladies night it's not affiliated by the way not affiliated uh they're just channels that i watch who in the f is dming me what's wrong with you bitches can't you calm your tits sorry um <laughs> uh, okay you guys are cool Thursday all day. Well, but you go to bed early, Sandy, so you might not make it to the party. Oh, you thought it was Thursday today? What is today? Oh, today's Wednesday. See, I don't know either because this is my weekend. <laughs> like, I have no clue. Yeah, tomorrow night will be ladies night. <coughs> but I'm not... Yeah, Stop Gap's not affiliated with um, late, with Diane's channel or Ladies Night. Sorry if I was confusing. Is this chat readable at this point? I'm just, I'm literally testing you guys. I'm an idiot. Like, let's see. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'll get the other folks that like to come up on Panner. Nearly Thursday for you. Let's see. What is it like 10, 1042 <coughs> for you? Um, British Chippy, you're like eight hours ahead of me. You can see it now. Thank you, little lady. It's very weird how it works. But this is actually very, very nice. Uh, it is a browser-based software. So I don't even have to mess with it. You want to? You want to do an ASMR? Okay. I'll get the voice elements in here. We'll get some people connected. And you guys can, uh, you guys can do a late, late, uh, whatever. 
a ladies. I was gonna say a ladies ASMR. Hey, this is definitely not an ASMR channel, but we do like to laugh. Um, and we do like to have fun. And if somebody has a problem with that, oh well. Sorry, not sorry. It's a, it's gonna be all right, you guys. It's gonna be okay. Don't get don't get your panties in a in a, a hurdle over Tilly May shower scene. Actually, it might have been Angel in the shower, or was it Lori? I'm not sure. Still trying to figure out who it was. Still need to figure out who it was. Hey, uh, are you guys still in here, Tilly May and Lori, or did you guys like bounce on me? I'm gonna have to hurt you. Uh, so, ladies' night is Friday for British Chippy. Cool, cool. Oh, man. That's like in the middle of the night for you. Ladies' night is like ladies' morning. Right? You laughed. Yeah, that was hard. It's hard not to laugh. We're joking. We're joking. It's funny. It's funny. If it's not funny, then don't watch it. Bye. Just trying to live our little lives out here. And I seriously hate that word hater. Like, why did I watch the men pipe up? Ew. Yeah. Okay, listen. I can't take any credit for that one. I can't take any credit for any blowholes. I can take credit for some blow hard. That's for damn sure. Damn, some of these people. Yeah, maybe I could just, uh, maybe, maybe I, I know Lady V left me a comment. I was like, thank God. Like, people actually understand that this is just, you know, what of. <clears throat> I see you, bitches. I see you, bitches, Lori. Yeah, I got to figure out who was in that damn shower. I couldn't see who was doing what. It was pretty. Yeah, you guys had like four ladies up in this. Yeah, maybe five or six, actually. Uh, catch an hour or two if it starts at 1 a.m. I'm a night owl. Yeah, I mean, ladies' night usually isn't that long. Um. Unless there's something going on, you know, unless there's something going on. Ciao, baby. I go finish watching the penalty phase of Timothy Jones case. I have no idea what that is, but enjoy. Um, uh, have a good time and all that kind of stuff. I have no idea who this Timothy Jones is. You know what started happening with me watching like true crime? I just went back to books. I went back to actually, I can't say books. I went back to audiobooks and cold case stuff because all the true crime stuff in the news started depressing me really, really, really bad. It was so depressing. Um, I'm having a hard time with it. Brian St. John wants to debate Wendy. Oh, because Brian St. John wants to debate everybody. About, it's probably, this is my guess, allegedly, okay? Brian, if you're in here, don't get your panties in a bunch. My guess is that it's about equal rights. Okay, thank you, Pineapple Blonde. Also, you're very, your picture is so cute. Thank you so much. Bye, Camilla. We love you so much. Um... Yeah, I mean, I would guess, I would guess it's about equal rights. I would guess. It'll be about the shirt. No, you know what? Brian has cammed up so many times without a shirt. Hi, K Smalls. How are you doing? I've been thinking about you, girl. I hope you're good. Uh, Lady B, missed the beginning of the stream. Do you have another channel you want us to hop? Onto sometime me, I don't have another channel yet. Well, <laughs> I sh I don't want to lie. I actually do have a channel that I did an analyzer parody on, but it's pretty much dead because I'm done picking on her ass. She's, yeah. Um, I don't have another channel, but I do have, 
I wanted to say if you guys after ladies night, if you guys aren't doing anything, um, some of my uh, mixer community friends have a, a show called no, you didn't miss here at all, Lady B. They have a show called Stop Gap. And they basically just BS. It's like dudes. And there's some guys that they're pretty funny and they're kind of good to look at. So to me, um, it would be kind of a cool little after party for ladies night. If there's not something popping off, which there usually is, unfortunately. Uh, let me go back. K Smalls is doing great. I'm happy, happy to hear that. I'm glad to hear that. Um, Timothy Jones Jr. killed his five kids. Okay, yeah, I will not be watching that. But if he really did, I hope that he gets what he deserves, which never happens in life. Well, I shouldn't say that. I think at the end of the day, we all really do get what we deserve. Sometimes we just have to put up with a whole bunch of BS in between. Um, but yeah, I think eventually justice is eventually served. Maybe not now, but eventually. Um, yes. It is good to hear K Small is doing okay. Uh, KK listening BRB. What the fuck? Sorry. Excuse my language. Uh, they're in penalty phase. Okay. So he's already been convicted. All right. Is this the dude? Wait a minute. Is this the dude with all the face tattoos? Because for the life of me, I just could not. Uh, Somebody soured that for me. I just could not. With the meth thing and the... Oh, good. I don't know. After the whole Chris... Okay, no, the lady says. After the whole Chris Watts thing, I just can't with these people killing their kids. I'm like, you know what? Let God take care of it. You lucky duckies, Telly May May's back. Do I need to yell at you, Telly May May? Or do I need to squeeze you? I'm going to squeeze you. Yeah, I'm sorry, you guys. This was, I was, okay, so I found this um, streaming software because we wanted to do a little bit more entertainment. And I just threw some junk up there real quick. Uh, this isn't quite what I thought it was going to be, though. But I can add elements. That's what I wanted to know is what elements can I add to where it doesn't look like a freak show? You know, like um, little bubbles floating everywhere and like confusing and crap. And then I got to add the voice element to it. And then we'll have some, I'll probably do like a little slideshow for you guys. It's not that fancy. I might, I might have to just go fancy. This is pretty basic. I'm going to squeeze Tilly May May. Lucky duckies, what the hell are you doing, Tilly May? This is so weird. What's going on with my YouTube? It's just now starting to work. All this time, I mean, all this time, it's only been a couple months that I've even had the channel, but all this time it has not been working right. And it's just now things are starting to like click into place. And people are getting all mad. Everybody just calm down a little bit. Leave a rude comment. Hit the thumbs down three times. Get out all your frustrations. And just chill. It's all right. It's going to be okay, you guys. It's going to be okay. It's going to be all right. I promise. I promise so much. It's going to be all right. Barbara Leon is a sweetie. Where is she? Oh, I think she might have been live. Damn it. I was, I swear I was just testing. Okay. You're doing a podcast thingy. Oh my God, Tilly, are you out of your mind? I mean, sorry. Are you crazy? How can you do that? Oh, speak truth with love. I'm just testing. I'm just testing. Testies, testies, one, two, three. Tilly May, really? Wow. Yeah, we did see that or heard about it. Um, but we have a plan. They can say whatever they want. It's all good. It's all good, man. Over here, we have a sense of humor. 
If other people don't want to have a sense of humor, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's going to be all right. I promise. They're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. What happens on YouTube is every three hours, everything changes. That's all. People need to laugh. People need to laugh more, in my my opinion. All right, does anybody else subscribe to Boxy Charm? Did anybody else get a Boxy Lux this month? Because this shit was really good. I'm about ready to go to the spa in my own bathroom. I'm about ready to go to the spa in my own bathroom. And I got this little lemonade lip gloss from Dominique Cosmetics. That is so good. I love it so much. Um, I also got a freaking travel hair dryer. So now I got to take a trip. Got myself a little Honeyman Glow AHA Resurfacing Night Serum. I mean, Boxy Charm is amazing. Yeah, I'm going to have myself a little spa day today. A little relaxation on my day off. Got me this Skin and Co. Aqua Illuminate Viso. Truffle Therapy Illuminating Skin Refresh Mist Radiant Dew. I'm going to get all dewy. Oh, I got some stuff for the ASMR. We're going to get glowy and dewy, you guys. You guys, you guys. So, um, yeah, we're going to just have fun. I am. I really want to connect with you guys that are interested, that have questions about vaping. You feel confused about devices and choices and nicotine and level and blah, blah, blah. I'd like to recommend uh, products that I've used. I'd also like to use this channel to have a good time and laugh. Um, and um, let's just not be so. Let's just not be so serious about jokes, people. Like, you know, as I've heard a very uh, lovely YouTuber say, grow a fucking sense of humor. Oh, okay. That was a heavy box. That was a heavy box. Gonna get on mine. I'm not allowed to actually say that word because it actually, it really, really offends someone that I like, but we might say it anyway. And I'll have to apologize to her later. Yeah, you know what? Just don't take things too seriously. Here's the thing. At the end, this is what I always felt like, people, is that that there are so many people on YouTube that they <coughs> watch all this stuff and they get sucked into all this drama. And what they do is at the end of the day, they turn off their YouTube and they have no one to talk to you. Um, because there's, uh, whether people want to believe it or not, there's a lot of people on YouTube that they have no friends in real life. They have no family. Like some people's whole families have been annihilated or died or they separated from family or, you know what I'm saying? And they have no one. And it's just really, really sad. They'll go away from something that's supposed to be an outlet for creativity and fun and they'll go away feeling like they got mind raped. And it's not okay. It's just not. It's not okay. And so, you know, if there's actually somebody that feels like they're being targeted or someone's being mean to them and all this kind of stuff, when they're saying very mean things themselves, then maybe a public discussion needs to be had about it. Otherwise, don't make your people in your chat feel like they have to turn this off and cry. It's not okay. It's rude. And you're not going to pay to the YouTube police for it. You're going to answer to a way higher power than that. So if you don't believe it, that's your problem. People are allowed to not like each other. There's plenty of people that I don't like on YouTube. 
And there's plenty of people who say things that I have repeated exactly their words. <laughs> it was funny. I'm sorry. They are funny people. It is a compliment. If you don't take it as a compliment, do. Please do. Please take anything that I laugh at that you say as a compliment. Because we love you so much. Hey, Ash. Okay, Ash. Targeted by a crazy old lady. Okay, that, yeah. Glowy and dewy sounds like a garden gnome hit with a wet glitter ball. Just saying. Oh, I'm going to be hit with a wet glitter ball for sure. It's going to be all up in the fupa. Okay, what happened? Who's fucking with Ash? Thank you, little lady. Thank you so much. Well, here's the other thing. Nobody's channel is anything without the people that come to it. I'm going to be dead serious. Like, I see people all the time on here <laughs> that they literally have, just like me, I have something to offer you guys in one area, okay? That's it. One area. Otherwise, I totally rely on the chat to bring topics up, to talk about stuff, to say, you know what I mean? So without people coming and watching you, if you block every single person that comes into your chat, all you're doing is holding down, you're holding back your YouTube. If you'd rather only have five people in your YouTube at the end of the day who want to listen to you, then that's fine. That's okay too. But um, most people would like to have a thousand subscribers so they could go live from a mobile device and go outside and do stuff, right? And have a few good people in their channel and just be chill and laugh and uh, muck it up. You know, that's it. It's not serious, you guys. Um, I mean, what does the fox say? Yeah, uh, I don't know what's up with that. I, I, I gotta be honest, you guys. I know that a lot of the subscribers here are like, uh, what do you call that thing? Oh, trolls. <laughs> um, so that's okay. It's okay. I, I don't mind because it got me where uh, to a threshold of a number. So maybe at some point I can live stream from my phone because um, I want to take you guys around the islands in the summer. I think that'd be kind of fun, right? But it's not going to be exciting if, you know, you want to know the tea because this is not a drama channel. It's just not. It's not. If you guys want to vent about the drama, I'm all about it. But I'm going to laugh at it. Because I think it's a total fucking joke. Sorry if I'm offensive. I don't mean to be. Um, yeah, and I, this whole thing about old, if anybody goes into their analytics and looks at their audience, their, your main audience in this community is, uh, what, 45 to 60? So, come on, you're all the same age. Shut the fuck up. Get out of here. Everybody's at least pushing 40. Like, just don't even go there. Come on. Just don't. It just makes you look dumb. It just makes you look stupid. Um. Yeah, speak truth with love. I want to go around the islands, go out to the beach. 60. Well, but here's the thing, Ash. Uh, that person doesn't know anything about anything. And I'm just going to put that out there. So that's fine. That's okay. Um, she is entitled to her own opinion. Uh, and it's hilarious. You guys got to give her credit. She's funny as shit. I mean, come on. You're 34 every year. I feel ya. I, I miss 32. Um, cruise the tube. You have no friends. Always bored. I don't like someone. I just move on. My choice. Yeah. Some people will get literally physically sick and stressed out from this. And that is not, that's not the goal. I mean, if that's your goal, then geez, I'm, I feel bad. Uh, pineapple loves everybody. Pineapple's here. Pineapple ain't going nowhere. But here's the other thing. 
if you see bad behavior, uh, most definitely in the chat, call it out. You know what I mean? Because that's not okay. And your definition of bad behavior might not be someone else's definition of bad behavior. And sometimes people get their feelers hurt. So it's okay. It's going to be okay, you guys. People get their feelers hurt. It's all right. Happens to everybody, whether you're 12 or you're 60. <gasps> you know, whether you like baseball or hockey, I'm just saying. Happens to everybody. Get their feelers hurt. It's not unforgivable. The only thing that's unforgivable is uh, adultery. I'm just kidding. Apparently some dude murdered five kids. I mean, God. He's like the new freaking Chris Watts or some shit. I don't want to see it. I mean, I'm sorry. Ooh, did I just like freaking scrape these glasses? I'm going to die. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, sorry. Let me read comments again. Uh, the bears love my Lori. What? There's bears? I don't need no stinking bears. Pineapples. I love pineapples. Okay. Uncomfortable. Jumping up and down. Oh, really? That's weird. Huh. Oh, so Laura was, yeah, I think she was trying to do a good deed. There you go. See? Physically sick. You got physically sick. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it, Sandy. Hey, man, if Laura wants to do a good deed, more power to her. Been disappointed in YouTube lately, but you would never let it cause you stress. Perfect. Yeah, don't. Don't. It ain't worth it. The problem is that people get real invested and they're just people they don't, you know what I mean? Some people just don't have anyone else in their life. And a lot of people are shut in. Did you, K-Smalls? That's good. That's good. That's really good. You probably could, because I think he trusts you. Oh, uh, yeah, Barbara is a very sensitive uh, lady. But she's a strong lady, too, so... I think you guys will be okay. That's good. I mean, if you guys are, you know, guys are out there, what you guys want to do good deeds and stuff, um, that's great. The problem is that I've heard that apology so many times, K Smalls. I heard it so many times. I just, it's, um, it's like white noise at this point. If it came out, if it came out, it would be white noise. But I do feel like people uh, could be doing something nice with their channel that is entertaining, um, like singing or dancing. And the stuff that they do is so entertaining. Uh, it's so much more fun. You know what I mean? And you can't take that away from someone. What you can take away from someone is them shit talking another person. What you can't take away from them is if they have a talent or something that draws people to them. It's not removable. Nobody can take it from you. And that is, to me, in my opinion, that's what I think is gold here. And if anybody disagrees, that's okay. I don't mind it. Uh, you feel really bad about the link ordeal. Well, don't feel too bad. Don't feel too bad. Sometimes people get what they put out in the universe, and that's okay. This is super gay. Well, what would you like to see, 180? What would you like to see to make it less gay? It's a test. Thank you, K-Smalls. I love you, too. I'm so glad that things are, like, I think they're on the, I think they're on the upturn. You know what I mean? I think some of this stuff had to crash. Yes, it's live, bitch. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to comment, 180. Um, yeah, I think it's on the upturn case malls. I think, um, as long as you're true to your, you already know, you have a big channel, by the way, you know, um, so a bigger channel as far as like us little 
whippersnappers are concerned. So you actually have a platform and you're respected. And anybody who doesn't respect that, at least you hold true to your convictions. We all make mistakes, you know, we all make mistakes. So. Uh, so hateful. Who's hateful? Uh, Ash should be a streetwalker. She's a sexy beast. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, we can't do any, but you can't change other people. We can only, all we can do is change our response. And we're just going to do some more ASMR. Because the last time I checked, in the community of YouTube, we can all do it. And it's a freaking joke. If you don't want to laugh, if you're offended, I apologize in advance. But we will have another sesh. And it'll be really, really dumb. I'm just going to warn you right now. Oh, wow, Ash. So that makes it okay. A leopard does not change its spots. Yeah, that's kind of one of the things that I was thinking about. I was like, if somebody has a core belief that's ingrained in them, like let's say, let's say that I'm a, a heavy duty Christian and I believe that abortion is murder. Let's just say that that is my belief as a Christian, the type of Christian I identify as. I have no leeway there. And someone comes on my channel and they start saying how, yeah, but in the cases of rape and da, 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 but I'm a fun, I'm fundamentally, no, it's a core belief. They come in and say that I freak out on them and I block them. Let's just say. And then that person says that I freaked out on them and blocked them because they had a difference of opinion with me. Okay. You better freaking believe I'm going to remember that person because it's a core value that I hold. It is a core value. It's in my, it's in my, within my moral compass that I would never, ever, ever, ever say abortion is okay. Again, this is a hypothetical situation. I do have my own beliefs on this matter, which I'm not going to talk about. Uh, but that being said, I would for sure remember that person because I blocked them because they, they offended a core value of mine. Um, same thing goes for like legalization of weed or anything else that's potentially controversial. If I'm an anti-weed person, somebody comes in here saying, ah, you guys are a bunch of pothead, but fuck it. You know, that sort of thing. I would be so offended. That, that would be a core, that would be a core value of mine. I would never forget it. So I'm just saying that as human beings, I think um, with impulsivity being regulated by the prefrontal cortex, once you hit the age of 24, you should be okay to make these decisions um, as an adult. And you will remember who people are. So playing stupid doesn't work with me, baby. It does not work with me, baby girl, baby boy. So I just want everybody to have fun. Um, I hope here. Anyway, you can go be bitches other places. I don't care. Um, but, you know, you can come be bitches here, too. You can come, like, shade me. I don't mind. Uh, hey, Sim 7, what's up? By the way, I was testing. I didn't mean to get on a rant. I'm an asshole about that. Sometimes I rant. 189, you crack me up. What cracks me up is people take that shit obviously said to fuck with them. Oh, man. No, I think he does sniff chairs. Shim. I'm sorry, Shim. Forgive me. Mm. And... Yeah, so I was told by a certain friend of mine that my stream was boring. So I need to do something. I don't know if this is going to work, though. I don't know if this is going to work. This looks like a certain something else that I don't like.
people are so bent, so bent being blocked, bent being blocked. Yeah, but sometimes you get blocked for things that you don't even know, like you're doing wrong. It's kind of weird. Like someone came in here the other night <laughs> and they said, hey, why are you guys all in here when you could be over here? Now, you're that's going to get you a block. Because I automatically know that you don't like me and you're trying to get people in my chat, which was very chill, to go to another chat that's all hate chat. And I hate saying hate, but it was just a bunch of bullshit. So, of course, that person got blocked because that's not, that's just not how you do it. You know, you don't go in somebody else's chat and go, oh, why are you here? You should be here. Like, that just makes you look like an idiot. And what I would like to have is we can look like an idiot and still have a conversation. But just don't be rude about it. That is bad. Now, you want to talk about how, having manners, dude. But that's my opinion, my conspiracy, allegedly. Um, so that will get you blocked. But, you know. People go against my Christian beliefs all the time, but you still love them. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like the thing that happened like with the elections in 2016. A lot of this is fallout from that. Like people were like, eh, Trump, eh, Hillary, eh, Trump. Oh, you voted for Trump. I can't like you anymore. Oh, you voted for Jill Stein. I can't like you anymore. Oh, Roseanne sent a tweet. Let's cancel her. I mean, come on, dude. Seriously? Like, all these people are corrupt motherfuckers. Like, we just, you got to face reality. And if you don't know what you don't know, then go learn something. Um, could be very wrong, disrespectful. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, you know. I've seen, I've seen people that have like three or 4,000 subscribers go into another person's channel that has like 500 and say some shit like that. And I'm like, what the hell? That is like not okay. That's not okay. Yeah, exactly, Tilly. I mean, you have to be a derelict to take that job. And I mean, I don't mean to crap on anybody who's uh, got family in, you know, in politics but they if they're being honest they would tell you the same thing it's dirty i could tell you guys some stuff um i worked in banking for a while uh, it banking and i worked at the top of the food chain with all the executives i was not a ceo or a, a an executive but i worked for the top of the legal department for a bank and, uh, you know, all the banks are competition with each other. And this was right before the uh, big crash, the big, uh, the big uh, real estate crash. And um, what I can say is that all of these banks have comp had competing ads. Uh, this was during the subprime lending uh, fiasco. That was so great. Like, you could have terrible credit and get a super low adjustable rate mortgage. <laughs> you could just buy like, I don't know, $350,000 house, million dollar house, have horrible credit. Um, and within a year, your interest rate would go from like 1% to like whatever it was, 5%. And you just like lose your home instantly. So anyway, when all these things were happening, I started realizing these guys are all friends. They're all buddies, all of them. It's the same thing in politics. They're all buddies. They're all, they all eat lunch together. They all get on conference calls together and figure out what they're going to do about this, what they're going to do about that. Anybody who doesn't think that that's true is living in a rock. I need to read a book. They need to go and they need to do a little bit of research and understand that we live in a corporation. We don't live in a bound constitutional environment we live within a corporation it's run like a corporation and it has been since the federal reserve got brought in 
So you guys need to know this shit. And if you don't know it, then you don't have any basis of fact in talking about politics. And I'm just going to end there. Uh, do whatever you want. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, anyway. Um, what's up, Max Savage? Max Savage, wait a minute. I know you. I know you, Max Savage. I know you, Max Savage. Do I know you from Ken? Do I know you from Ken? Tell me. Uh, don't be mean to you. You have no clue. Uh, nobody's going to be mean to you. Happy wife. Why would anybody be mean to you? Hi, Eva Christiana. Eva Christiana in the house. Developed. Oh, my God. Okay. So, wait a minute. I have another. Oh, my God. Wait, are you a subscriber? Or are you on are you on developed? You're not on developed. You're a subscriber, right? Please tell me. Are you on Ken? Aren't you a, a mod for vaping with Ken, Max? Uh, let's see. Tilly May, no F's given. You you're only blocked by Molly. I bet you if you talk to her, she would unblock you. Unless it was that bad, British Chippy. But she did unblock me, by the way. Uh, you're the cute one on Developed. You're the cute one on Developed. Oh, God. God damn it. You guys drive me nuts. You're all very good looking, by the way. I just have to say. <laughs> uh, I love Developed so much. But I got to tell you, I got a problem. That freaking cherry experience pissed me off. And you want to know why it pissed me off? Because you didn't post the recipe. Never heard of Ken. Um, okay. Well, he's from Pacific Northwest too, like me. And he just does vape reviews and stuff. And he's a good, good dude. He's a good dude. But he's not a mixer at all. We need receipts. Receipts for what? I need the damn recipe for the cherry. I'm pissed. Yeah, I get it. Quince. Blah, blah, blah. Hibiscus tea. You guys just did a show about something like rose water. Rose water? What channel? See, I got people going over to develop. Develop is so good. It's such a good show. God. Oh, the rose milk tea. I gotcha. Okay, let's see. Oop, I can't play that. I'll get copyright strike. Wait, let me check this out. Oh, the good. Okay, now I know who you are. You guys are all good looking. It's hard to tell you apart. Okay, now I gotta see. Because I know the name. I just don't remember. I didn't remember from where. Yeah, they're all good looking. They're all good looking kids, all of them. Yep. And they're very, very interesting. Like, uh, listening to you guys riff on stuff, I love it. I don't like you, Max. I don't like that. I need to know what it is. Somebody needs to DM me, God damn it, on Discord. I need it. I need it. Do you realize I bought all the freaking ingredients? I was, well, probably two. Missing for chunk. Do you understand what you have done to me? Okay, Tilly Mae, what we're talking about is uh, this channel. Let me find it because I'm a dipshit. We're talking about this channel that should have so many more subscribers. I can't even believe in them. It is, oh, Tilly Mae does zone out on the e-liquid stuff because she was never really... Um, Okay, this is developed. I'm just going to put it in the freaking night bot. I'm sick of it. Okay, so Tilly Mae was never a smoker. She's not into a liquid. She just puts up with it for me. And uh, I am um, I'm, I'm going to be honest. When I saw Graham come in the other night, I flipped out a little bit. Then he came up on Panner and bullshitted with us. And now I see Max Savage in here. 
and I feel so shy to talk in the Mixers Collective Discord, but I have been I have been in it since the day Wayne put it up. I was on the Facebook group. I had to delete my Facebook due to a very a very a very negative breakup, <laughs> a very negative relationship ending. Not the relationship was negative. The ending broke my heart. But I had to delete my Facebook a couple months ago because of this. So I don't have access to the Mixers Collective anymore because I can't do the whole social media thing with that. But I'm very shy to talk to you guys in the uh, Discord group because I feel like a moron. So, But yes, um, they are all very knowledgeable guys. Um, they work really well together. Um, and girls, I mean, I think also, doesn't Emily come up on uh, Developed as well? The only people I ever don't feel shy talking to are Emily or Wayne. Everybody else, I'm so, like, intimidated by and I don't know why. Um... Graham said, either you DM me or DP him. DP. DP like double penetration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Graham that you liked, uh, Tilly. Okay, so these guys have a sense of humor. Yes, Miss Nevins, we're still here. Uh, these guys and girls, I should say, the ladies and, and gentlemen, they have a sense of freaking humor, unlike some of the assholes we know about. I'm sorry, I just said assholes. Other, unlike some of the other people that we know about. No, Graham actually doesn't have a channel. He produces these shows. So he's producing Noted. Um, and he's producing, uh, apparently, he's producing Developed, Noted. And I'm trying to get everybody after. So we have something we do called Ladies Night. One of our people that we watch does ladies night and um so we watch ladies night but and then on thursday night i'm trying to get everybody to come from there over to uh stop gap because i heard it's going to be the last stop gap ever hey lolo i'm trying to get everybody to come over to stop gap because i don't want it to be your last show i've never seen it i don't understand why there aren't more subscribers i'm getting pissed I thought Skittles vaporized. I haven't seen him on Wayne's stream in forever. Yeah, no, you know what? I'm sick of it. Why? Why? Why is it the last one, Max? I'm pissed. I'm getting mad. You guys have been doing this shit for like a year, year and a half, and I haven't seen it. Now you're stopping? So Stop Gap is a show where... Uh, people from the Mixers Collective, um, uh, the vaping, the DIY mixing community, talk about things that are not necessarily vape related. Bigger and better things and no one watches it. Well, I wish I could be into some bigger and better things, but here I sit broken hearted. Damn, I want people to watch it. But if you guys are just kicking it and you don't care, then we'll Maybe I'll get some people to come over and uh, I'll get some people to come over and we can like send you off. It'll all be women. It'll be all women. <laughs> um, uh, you can't figure out Streamlabs for your phone, Lolo. Are you trying to stream from your phone? Oh, we, yeah, we're not, none of us are solving shit. We're, <laughs> none of us are solving shit anywhere. You know, I'm a little irritated. I didn't even realize Wayne was streaming when I went live. I was just testing. I, if I'm being honest, I was like, I don't always catch his Tuesday. I always catch his Friday. Every Friday, whether I'm working or not, I watch it. Um... Yeah, Tilly, please get back in Discord, okay? Hmm, solve the world's problem. 
I'm going to have to go. Are you guys going to leave the channel up so I can watch it? You're going to delete it. You're going to be dirty deleters. Well, okay. But you got to understand the, if you go watch, go, I have the, uh, the link in my night bot. If you guys go, if you guys go check out what they're talking about, um, they're hanging out kind of like when I have people up and we hang out. Um, oh, good. Yeah. Um, Eva, uh, Eva Christiana, I would like to know how I'm helping you because I don't think we talked yet, but I'd like to help you get something picked out if we can. Um, what time is stop gap going to be this Thursday? Let me go look. Cause I'm a stupid. Cause I'm a stupid. Max will tell us before I can say it. If he's still here, he might have left me. Do, 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 do. It's in my subscriptions. Dang it. Why am I subscribed to so many people? Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern. So I think ladies night is what? Is it at 9? No. It might be. It might be. Oh, what time is it? Let me look. What time is ladies night, you guys? Somebody tell me, tell me, May. Is it at 9? It's 7. Oh. So that means it's at eight. So it's at eight E S E S T. All right. Well, I'll be over in stop gap for sure this week. I'm gonna be pissed. That'd be the last one, but whatever. You guys don't want to do it anymore, I guess. Graham didn't really say you guys don't want to do it anymore. He just said it was the last one and he didn't give me any reason why. So let's see. Um what am I DMing you about, Max? I'm scared. I'm shy. I'm so freaking shy to talk to you guys. You're all so much smarter than me. You want to get me on developed? I'm there. I'll come up. I want I want to. But you got to tell me. Okay, so the, here's the thing. Nobody gives me anything for free other than Bryce. Like, if I buy some stuff direct from Flavora, they'll send me a shit ton of stuff free. <laughs> But nobody else hooked me up. And I have tons of stuff. But I need to know. I, I need to know ahead of time. Because I will have to pay for things. Because I'm not sponsored the house. You know what, 180? This BS is your idea. You told me to like make my... Frick, you told me to use Streamlabs. I thought I found something better than Streamlabs. But I can't... Like, it looks all janky. It was just a test. Yes, you are, Max. Okay. Nobody sends you flavor lines. Like, Wonder Flavors doesn't send you a line. Come on. Somebody sends you something. Somebody sends you something. Somebody sends you something. Nobody sent me shit. Oh, that bastard. Really? God damn it. Why? Oh, I get it. I get it. Okay. Okay. Then tell me what I need to buy. Yeah, Bryce is good. Really good with the samples. Uh, dripping is the new things kids do. It's hardcore. What in the F? What do you mean dripping is the new thing? Okay, uh, what is it? Streamlabs doesn't work on my phone. What? How? It's just an app, Lolo. Uh, he said, be down with double penetration. I don't know if I can get behind that. <laughs> I don't know if I can get in front of it either. You know, I'm just out of trying to fuck. You guys want to hear something freaking weird? This is so weird. My channel's not monetized, okay? 
but YouTube just sent me a thing that I have super chat. How freaking weird is that? Graham said he's the one. Are you guys talking right now? Where is this motherfucker? Is he producing Wayne's show right now? I'm getting pissed. I'm going over there. I am. You guys think I'm some kind of hussy. Oh my God. I'm going to, I'm going to cry right now. <laughs> I'm going to cry. What are you guys doing to me? What the fuck? What the actual fuck? I'm I legit about ready to like I am a cyber skank indeed. I have to find a low cut shirt and camera. Grandma's the one behind. I'm weird as fuck. Yes, that's true. I am. Uh dripping. <laughs> Lolo, if you need help with OBS, a Streamlabs OBS on your phone, I'll help you. But do you have an iPhone? If you have an iPhone, then I need someone else to help you. Um, I need someone else because I don't do iPhone. I'm sorry, I just don't. Cyber pimp is 180. 180 is the cyber pimp. I'm gonna cry right now, you guys. I'm getting trolled by people I, I admire. I and I did get also trolled by um by the way, the vaping uh cro vapor chronicles and what's his face? Vaping Fagin. <laughs> but Nightbot had the word F-A-G in hold. So every time anybody typed anything about Fagin, it got held. It was <laughs> I was dying. I'm like, oh, my God, Vaping Fagin. Because last time it was like Mike Vapes and Vaping Fagin trolling a true crime channel. Look at you bitches. Nobody even responds to me in the mixer's lobby. Why? See, you guys are big shots. Look at you. Developed. Your name's all undeveloped and shit. Hi, Mayor. What's happening, girl? Your harem is getting huge. Yeah, you got like 50 bitches in it now. I'm going to leave all the time and I don't. Damn you. Oh, screw her. Who cares? No, don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. Please don't leave me, Max. Please don't leave me. Oh, my God. Don't leave me. Please don't leave me. Oh, my God. Now I feel like an asshole. Did I hurt your feelers? Please don't leave me. I'll Google Hangout you to figure this out. Yeah. Yeah. Feel free. I don't have an iPhone, though, girl. Okay. 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 I gotcha. But please don't say it. you ruined. Like, come back sometime, please. He's got to go. Wayne's live right now. I didn't even realize his Tuesday show was up. But thank you for coming by, Max. Love you some. Meh. No, I won't cry. I won't cry. It's okay. I got it. They. Get, I didn't even know. Uh, I didn't know uh, DIY or Die was live right now. I just was going to seriously do a test before to see if this would please 180. Okay, good. Okay, so on Android, it's super easy. It's super easy. All you got to do is you go to what in the hell are you guys talking about in here? Okay. So you go to the Play Store. Okay, I'll delete my comment. See, I'm so shy to talk because people don't respond to me. Okay, uh, so you go to the Google Play Store, and then, no, whatever, um, and then you go to Streamlabs, <laughs> Streamlabs, thank you, Max, I really do love you guys, you're so good, god damn these pop-ups, go away, Streamlabs, okay, so it's called Streamlabs. Stream live to Twitch and YouTube. 
it's under the category of photography. You install it. Once you install it, you open it up. And then once you, ew, once you open it up, you can set your camera. You go into this little gear, which is your uh, settings. And then on the left-hand side, there is a little three lines up the top left. And in there, you click on the gear and you can do settings in here. Um, let's see. But what you really want to do is go to editor. When you go in editor, you can set up your chat box and an alert box. So, but I can, um, I can probably walk you through it. It's very, very easy. 180 would like to be punched in the taint. I see where this is going. Oh, Kayla Renee, how's it going? Kiki Ramblings, where's my palm trees? <laughs> hey, uh, I'm supposed to be fancy, but I can't, I just can't, I haven't been able to get there. I haven't been able to get there. I'm going to have to go, look, I found this web-based thingy and I just can't freaking, <sighs> So I like it. I like that it's based. It's a web base. I don't have to download any stuff. Um, but let's see. It's Google drama. I'm just kidding. Um, palm trees. Yeah, I mean, as far as, like, all that shit's concerned, I don't know. I don't know how to do any of it. I'm not going to lie. I don't need anything flickering in everybody's face either. But somebody asked me to do this. Kind of. Not asked me. I shouldn't say that. Just recommended. 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 So, I'm trying this... Um, it's actually a browser-based dealio, right? And it works really, really well, but it looks like crap right now. It looks like crap. It looks like crap. Now let's do this. I mean, I don't have any, like, plastic, like, balls and stuff to bounce around on there. Um, but, I mean, if you really wanted to, if you really wanted to, I could probably find something, you know. That's about as palmy as I get. Uh, da, 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 Kiki, and by the way, Kiki, I wanted to say to you, you said the other day that you came in and something was off in my live stream. And I'm so sorry if somebody said something to you that was hurtful or mean or rude. I'm really, really sorry. I hope that you would call it out. They were orcas, but I got rid of them. <laughs> um, if that happens, please call it out to me because I don't, I don't need that shit. Like you don't need that shit. And then you got trolled. Kiki blocked you, Tilly May. I don't know why. Who's busy? Uh, where's Marianne? Yeah, she's probably doing stuff. She don't love me no more. Did you guys not hear that Marianne and I broke up? She broke up. What panel? Why are you saying that, Tilly May? Your panel is going to go great. Your panel will go great. What time is your panel, by the way? You'll support my palms. <laughs> hey, they're not hairy palms. Uh, Tilly May, Kiki. I'm just going to say it once. Kiki is in here. Tilly May. But listen, so the other night I felt so bad. People were coming in here saying, Kiki's getting trolled so bad. And I was like, dude, that happened to me like two days ago. Real bad. I got trolled the house. It did. Okay, so it's not. 
Okay, so when you on those coils, Mare, um, don't prime them. Just pop it into the freaking pop it in, and then fill up your tank from the top. You know your top fill, and let it sit for five minutes. Don't prime it. Don't even do that because what'll happen is it'll just get flooded. People say to prime them, but for me, it always gets spit back and gurgly crap, and nah, don't don't do it. You don't need to. You let it sit five, ten minutes, you're good. Uh, pug, the lady. Um, no, I felt like you actually were mad at me, Kiki, and I was like sad about it. Angie MD, what the cluster fuck is going on in here? You're so tired. I don't know. I'm testing a web based, um, a web based streaming site because somebody told me to up my game and get some freaking fancy shit. But I can't deal with flames and gates of hell. That's not me. But they don't want to do hangouts. Now I got to get sound cards set up so I can have a panner. Maybe. Okay, Tilly May is doing a panel tonight on Barbara Leon's channel. At what time, Tilly May? About this dude. I'm sorry, I don't remember his name. That murdered his five kids or some shit. <coughs> It's good to see you, Angie. I know you don't have flames on yours. <coughs> but you probably also have more disk space than I do. Timothy Jones. See, I don't even know. I've been I've been a hot mess, dude. I was sick and shit, you guys. I got sick. I had to go the horse pistol and then get look at Lolo's little face and then get kicked out. We'll fix your he. Fix my he. Oh, um, yeah, that's a thing. I think I'm just going to buy another SSD and say, fuck it. What's 300 bucks, right? Oh, okay. Uh, Tilly May, Kiki did not block you, and she might be on the panel. Barbara Leon. Barbara Leon. She's a very sweet lady. Uh, lurking, just been kind of in and out, really. Whatever, Sandy. I know you let me submit. Uh, what time is Barbara's stream, Tilly May? Your eye hurt. <laughs> Apparently, your fingers can't write an S either. Sorry. I was giving you shit. I got to give you shit, Angie. I want you to laugh. Uh, Kayla Renee, just sub. The link is in the chat. It is. Yeah. Hmm. I know your eyes. Shut up. I'm on my phone. Oh, okay. Because I was like, I don't know who Monica is, but fuck. Tell me. Because I'm not down and all that. She's like, it just seemed off to me. And I was like, what was off? What did I do? To gay gay? <laughs> but you did call me the Snoop Dogg of vapes. And I got to say, I almost cracked a rib laughing at that. I was like, the fuck? Where she come up with that one? A Snoop Dogg of vapes. <laughs> uh, Air Maggard, I miss you. Well, come back to Discord, Tilly May. Get your booty back over there. Tilly Mesa, sorry, Kiki, my mistake. There's so much crap going on lately that everybody's all cluster bang. And it's not in a good way. Nobody even bought me dinner first. You feel stupid? No, 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 no. Lolo, it was so good. I don't know if it helped anything for you, but I think it did. I think it did. Hey, and you know what, Kiki, if you do get mad at someone in here, that's allowed. <laughs> because we're freaking human beings. People get mad. Ugh. People get mad and they get over it. 
<laughs> fuck everybody who can't get over a like crumb of shit. Sorry, I'm being a dick. Um, yeah, it's not back up. It's not back up yet. I think uh, that is something that has to be sorted out if it's going to be or not. But it's not my business. Not my business. Come to you, you'll crumble like a cookie. <coughs> Even a cunt all day. Why? <coughs> what do you what does that mean, 180? Uh Stephanie Brown's Discord is currently not open for general chat. Do you know how weird it is that I'm not monetized and YouTube is sending me shit about Super Chat? Is that weird? Why are they doing this? I'm not monetized. I don't get it. Um, sorry to anyone that doesn't like that word. No, nobody cares. Well, I mean, whatever. I don't think so. Um, help clearing out what was being said about me. Uh, Lolo, really? <coughs> you, no, there's no allegation or accusation. <coughs> Sorry, I'm coughing like a, a pansy. Um, I'm sure they do. They want everybody that is, um, within... The realm of monetization to have super chat because they take such a huge cut of it um and that's whatever you know you have discord in his okay 180 has a discord in his about page so if you needed another one uh it's been so much quieter without discord it's done Okay, Barbara's stream is scheduled for 8 o'clock p.m., but I don't know her time zone. Yeah, I have a 1,000 subs. Here's the thing, though. You don't... Ooh, I got a dislike. Anybody else want to give me one? Um, a 1,000 subs gets you uh, halfway there. It's really weird that I have so many subscribers, but I don't have the watch hours. Like, that's really weird to me, which tells me that it's just trolls. Like, it's mostly trolls. Flying monkeys. Uh, does anyone have the link to Herbie's Discord? No idea. Never joined it. Never would. No offense to Herbie. I just, I can't deal with that sort of, I don't know. Some people in here might be on Herbie Herbie's Discord. I just don't know if she has it open to the public or what. I just, yeah. I, I go to very few uh, places. Yeah, so links are only good usually for, what, 12 or 24 hours, and then they expire. Um, doesn't Herbie have an email on her about me, maybe? I don't know. Maybe she doesn't. Maybe she got sick of it. Not sick. She didn't, I, I take that back. Maybe she got sick of people emailing her. I thought she used to have her email on her channel. Uh, Snoop Dogg is the king of weed. He knows his shit and you know your shit on vape. I hope so. I just, I, what I know about vaping, about hardware is what has worked for me, what works for me and what I think might work for other people. That's what I know. Now, when it comes to mixing e-liquid, I'd like to think, I think I know a thing or two about a thing or two. Which is kind of cool. This dude says he wants me to come on his show, uh, his developed show. Um, which would be pretty cool. Because I like making things. And I like making things that are productive and fun and creative. Rather than just making a giant mess. Or watching other, you know what I mean? I don't know. I like making shit. 
especially if like it's tasty. Yeah, Angie is going to need to do what's best for her for sure. Now, 180, on the other hand, <laughs> if you want to join his Discord, he might get ratchet. Shim, Shim, I'm sorry. We grandmas lerve. Who do you lerve? Who's a grandma, by the way? Isn't there somebody on here that's like 30 years old and a grandmother? I don't get the grandma. I don't get what I, first of all, I'm not a grandma, but I could be, but I don't understand how that's an insult, by the way. It's weird. It's weird. Like, oh my God, you have a family or a piece of shit. Um, what are you mofos doing to me? What are you doing to me? All right, I'm getting a headache, you guys. I'm giving myself a headache. What the hell's Lori doing over here? Wreck the house. Oh, my God. What, do you, what does that mean? Are we taking ceiling fans down and shit? Damn, Lori's dirty little bird over here. Okay, I think I know what's going on with that whole thing. So what is everybody doing Wednesday? I'm on Pacific time. Oh, good, good, good. Now I know Max. Okay, cool. I got it. Um, reference to being classified as old yeah it's really weird when people that are like your own age call you old because you're like wait a minute or like somebody somebody says something about you that they it's just always funny to me how people will like throw an insult out and they, they've never even seen you or it's funny I don't know. I just always find that really funny. Like, wait a minute. What you're criticizing in me is what you don't like about yourself because you feel old. It's weird, right? It's kind of the little kid thing. Uh, Lolo's 37, having her first grandbaby. Daughter's eight weeks prego. And Mina's hell. Oh, my God. Congratulations. You need to cook dinner, but you don't feel like cooking. That's when I make reservations raining and you got struck by lightning holy crap good thing you sold the rv are you okay pug if you ever vape you know to go to hey oh yeah that's right you smoke okay yeah man for sure for sure if you ever need anything let me know i, I got you girl i got you girl um headache meds who has a headache i have a headache oh you know what you're right i didn't fucking eat what is wrong with me i was okay so i thought i made some coffee and i was like okay everybody's around right now that is technical meaning one other person <laughs> so i'm like i'm gonna talk to shim and i'm gonna figure this out real quick but shim's very tired right now so Shem needs to go get some sleep. And it's also very hot here right now, which by very hot, I mean like 80, uh, we melt. It's probably not, it's probably 75, but my house retains um, heat like nobody's business. So I gotta go crank my AC on. Up, uh, up, uh, quit messaging me. So I thought, okay, we'll figure this out real quick and then we'll go do, like later on, we're going to go do a, um, maybe later today, probably not tomorrow, but one of these days I would like to do another little ASMR if you guys liked it so much. Because I heard people loved it so much. They loved it so much. They think it's coming down, <laughs> but I'm not the one. <laughs> I'm not the one. See, here's the thing. 
I've only ever removed a couple videos. And the reason why I removed them is because someone was upset and they asked me to remove it. Um, and it was somebody that was on my panel and out of respect, I did. Um, and then the rules changed for me. From now on, um, if you would like to come on my panel, don't expect it to get removed. Okay. The other one was um, that I took down was, let me think, what was it? I don't remember. But it was somebody else pulling hijinks, like pulling hijinks. Uh, otherwise, um, you got to use your filter because it's going to stay up. That way, if anybody has an opinion about something, they can go back and um, reference it. Because receipts are not only found in the piglet wag leg, Tilly May. Okay, so my test is a success and that you guys came in. So I know this works. It's a failure and that I don't think this is what I would like to use. Uh, it's not even working with Bautissimo. I don't like it very much. Um... I do like the ease of use. I just need to figure out how to, well, wait a minute. Maybe I could do, I need to figure out how to add the, um, the voice so I can have the panner because I want you guys to be able to come up. Ooh, you know what? This might not be bad. This might not be bad at all. I need someone to help me add. Um, the voice. The voice. 180. I need you, and when, if you're not too tired, do you have time to look at those freaking um, documents? If not, I'm going to go through the, uh, whatever it is, support thingy. Sorry, I'm going to go look at the, I'm going to look at the, um, sorry, the documentation on it. Okay. Um, let's read up. Pugs. Power company said it was one strike bouncing. Ew, damn. That's bad. Uh, about time it started pouring. You needed this today. What's going on? You got a storm? Keep everyone up to date with our baby love. Okay. Yes, you can. You can still DM on Discord as friends. Uh, what did Kiki? Oh, Kiki says prayers. I'm confused what happened. Pugs, is everybody okay? <clears throat> everybody just sit my down till he may may. Huh. Okay, good. Yeah, um, I joke around when it rains here because it always rains here. Although it's not right now, I'm a little pissed. It's hot as hell. Hot as hell. I need to go to the beach. Oh, it's 89. That's why. See, I thought it was like, oh, it's going to be like 75 and I'm moaning. No, it's actually almost 90 degrees. And our humidity is 45%. That's the problem is the damn humidity. <clears throat> if it would just be hot, it'd be fine. But because it's where I'm on an island surrounded by freaking water, it's so freaking humid. And then we get a little bit of cloud cover and it just locks the damn stuff in. All right. So I'm going to go see if I can figure out what time Tilly May is going up on Panner on Barbara's channel. Hmm. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, it's at uh, 10 o'clock Eastern, 7 Pacific, 10 Eastern. Okay. Hi, little Kelly. How are you doing? Okay, Miss White, you got my email address. Go ahead and email me and yeah, I'll help you in any way I can. I love rainstorms as well, just in case y'all were curious about me and stuff and things. Okay, have a good day, a good rest of your day at work, Kiki. Thank you for coming in. I really appreciate it. I'm glad we were able to talk. Yes, little lady, it's hot today. It's hot up in this yacht. I'm good, little Kelly. I'm getting a little bit of a headache, though, because I didn't really. First of all, I didn't eat anything today. I just drank coffee. Um, and then I only planned on being here like uh, maybe 30 minutes and I've been here for two hours. Weird, right? Angie is comfy snuggled in her bed. Yes, indeed. Piggly Wiggly. We need to get to the Piggly Wiggly. Hi, Dova4. How are you doing? Good to see you. Yeah, I was only going to come up here for just a minute and then I screwed myself. So, uh, Tilly May will be with Barbara Leon and potentially Kiki Rambling tonight at 10 o'clock Eastern um, on Barbara Leon's channel, you guys. Uh, so it's going to be a panner. I know she's in my night bot. But this is her channer, I think. Is that right? Yeah. That's her channer. So, um, Seven o'clock Pacific, uh, ten o'clock. Wait, seven ten o'clock Eastern. Um, right now you can go into her channel and set a reminder. It'll ding you. Listening while commuting. You need to eat something. Yeah, it's time to eat. I hate cooking when it's hot. I did a live last night that none of you bitches came to, and you did two readings. You did. Yeah, you know what? I got to tell you something, Angie. I was getting so much shit. For trying to be funny last night that i couldn't even like i just yeah i could not be on youtube last night i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i had a i had a what do you call it i have my health to attend to let's just put it that way i mean for fuck's sake i just got out of the hospital give a girl a break not you, Angie, but people. Uh, you're getting thrashed. Urine. <laughs> Hot as hell where you are, yeah. Yeah, with that, so with regards to that whole thing, just I would just leave it alone. I would leave it alone. People will. Okay. You know how... When you have a little kid, you always tell them that the stove top is hot. Don't touch it. It's hot. You can get burned. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. But eventually, the little kid has to freaking touch it and get burned anyway. That's what has to happen. You got to let the little kids touch the little stove top a few times. And once they start getting burned, they'll learn not to touch it. Okay? That's all. 68 sounds delicious. Okay? It sounds delicious. Life Rewinded. Tracy in the house. Oh, my God. It's two hours south of Vegas, 105. You know what's crazy to me, too? Uh, well, about Vegas, anyway. The desert, no, but Vegas itself, when it is hot, like in the middle of the day in Vegas, the st on the strip, it stinks so bad. <clears throat> so somebody, uh, Kiki asked where my palm trees were. <laughs> so I had to give her some palm trees. Yeah, let the little babies touch a little fire. Let, let them touch the stove. It's going to be okay. And here's the other thing. Like, if you're really good at figuring out um, 
how do I say this? If you have a good sense of people and their intentions and you figure them out early on, they will hate you more than they'll ever hate anybody else. It's like an animal instinct thing in people um, where they will never, ever let that go. So that's where I sit in that situation is that I had a peg from the start <laughs> and you don't like it. But you know what? Not my problem. Not my problem. Hasn't been my problem for a couple months now. So everybody enjoy touching the stove. You did. Um, you should easily have a thousand subscribers, Tracy. You have a great channel. Yeah, Kayla. It's pretty easy to forget. Pretty easy to forget. Uh, Y'all, I know, Karma Biatch, I got issues, man. I was going to be here for 30 minutes. I've been here two hours. Um, <laughs> Mayor, uh, off to cook. I will not touch the fire, by the way. <laughs> True story, Lolo. 627. Yeah, will you guys all go subscribe to um, Life Rewinded, um, our friend Tracy? She does such great, great videos. You better be in my night bot, by the way. Why would anybody give themselves what name? Which name are we referring to? She has excellent videos. Okay, good. You're a night bot. That's uh, Tracy's link, Life Rewinded. I wanted to get the thousand so I could go drive around without Streamlabs and stream, but they still, they haven't given me the live streaming capabilities on my phone yet. I guess it's like a watch hour thing. So that tells me like 90% of these are flying monkey trolls. But I do get quite a few good people in here. I really, really appreciate that. Yes, Tracy's awesome. She does. She's so good. And she's a really good person. Like, she is a good person. She will talk to people that are dishing out nonstop shit to her, just like uh, Tilly Mae. Tilly Mae does the same thing. Um... Shit, I didn't even finish my coffee. Uh, although it was like a, a 16, maybe 16 ounces of coffee I made or something. It was a pretty good sized coffee, but I didn't quite finish it. Yeah, we got to get uh, Tracy to a thousand. She definitely uh, deserves it. She makes great videos and she puts time into it. Um. You know, I don't know why people keep sending me pictures of their food. It's really, like, starting to hurt my feelers. Let's see if I could do... I'm trying to figure out if I could get a, a voice element on here. It would be kind of cool. That's hilarious. Uh, let me check. Hang on. Bear with me, you guys. Uh, Discord. Oh, I know what I could do. This is so easy. I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm being a dumbass. Let me go to... Okay, uh, let's see if I could add. Give me just a second. Okay, it says I'm live. And what if I did this? Well, well, well. 
Hmm. That doesn't work. You know what's weird? This dude has like one of those little cat ear Snapchat filters, and it's a man. What is this called? I bet that's so hot looking. Okay. Um, yeah, chicken burrito bowl with avocado. Uh, you love straight up people who say what they mean. Something went off the screen. No bullshitter. Ah! Yeah. Uh, no time for bullshit or liars. Your hubby went to get food. Not get the wrong. You better not get the wrong order. He's going to be trouble. He's going to get you some cookies. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Having wings and fries. Corn on the cob. Damn. That sounds good. Don't be hating on the Snapchat filters. I... I don't get it. I'm sorry, you guys. I just don't. I don't get it. I don't get it. I have not gotten it for the, what, four years people have been doing it. I'm just like, why? But hey, if people want to do it, what if? I just don't get it. Like, why? It's weird. It's weird. I'm sorry. It's weird. I got friends that do it all the time. It's weird. It's kind of like when your friend takes a screenshot and they send it to you. And I mean like an in life, in flesh, real life person that you like go have dinner with, go to the bar, go shopping with, whatever. Okay. They send you a screenshot of something and their font is like uh, some jacked up like cartoon writing. You're like, how do you even read this? Uh, that's the kind of shit that I give people with the Snapchat filters. Otherwise, I mean, come on. Yeah, everybody loves them. I just don't get it. Latte Oreos? No. Okay. Uh, Lolo Tilly Mae is going to be on Barbara Leone's channel tonight at 10 o'clock Eastern. They make wrinkles go away. The Oreos do? Oh, the Snapchat filters. Well, I mean, I get the smoothing thing or that kind of stuff. But I mean, like the ears and stuff. All my friends send me this stuff where they have little like doggy noses and they're surrounded by bubbles and they're little fairies. I'm like, dude, I just saw your ass like last week. I know you don't look like that. Like, knock it off. <laughs> Hey, I'm not knocking anybody else doing it. I just don't get it. Yes. Thank you, Pineapple Blonde. Nice to meet you. Uh, hopefully, we'll see you back here. Yeah, we'll be back with some uh, asthma. We'll be back with some asthma. Ooh, look at Pugs and Thugs getting serious. Will you please go set up permissions in your Discord? 180. Damn. Yeah. Nice meeting you. Thank you so much. Yeah. I mean, I guess there's that. Like, if you have kids and stuff. I. That's why I don't get it. Because, like, the kids do it. And by kids, I mean, like, you know, 12 or 9. And I am all about disguising children's pictures. <laughs> Like, I am for that. Disguise the shit out of the pictures. But, yeah, that's okay. Everybody likes what they like, right? I don't like it being 90 degrees and freaking almost 50% humidity right now, but uh, some people love it. People are out there washing their cars, building decks. Fishing for crabs. 
All right. Homeboy Drew is writing back to me right now to see if I can add Discord chat. Discord voice chat into this. This is browser based. It's kind of nice. You can add elements uh, and layers just like you can. You can add stream elements. Uh, you don't have to write XML or HTML tags. It's kind of nice. Um, do, 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 do. I gotcha. Okay, so he's basically telling me I need that damn AV shit. Where am I at? I am on an island in Washington State, well, Kelly, just outside of Seattle. What is this thing called that we looked up earlier? Sorry, I'm just typing into this, dude. All right, let's look and see. What, what are you guys talking about? I might have to go because it's getting really, really hot in this room. Um, Yeah, I'm on an island in Washington, little Kelly. Uh, I'm not trying to push you to do it. Just curious. Um, yeah. Um, I think the Discord thing for Stephanie Brown's Discord is just on a hiatus for now. And it may come back, it may not. But people were being really weird and making things look like something that they weren't. So it's not that it's not worth it. Um, well, I wanna see if this dude. Uh did he just close our conversation? Oops, I did. Um, so, didn't you have a Discord? What? I'm in Indiana. The weather is bipolar. No respect. Anyway, yeah. Um, Lil Kelly, we don't. Yeah. So, okay. I'll just say this. Um, Stephanie opened up her Discord to everybody in the true criminals community. But it was so much work because people were acting like children and couldn't behave um, that basically the general chat, friends chat, all that stuff had to get shut down because they were just acting crazy. That being said, there are other, um, I don't know if it's untrustworthy people or if it's just people like stirring shit and it's too much work. So there are other people who have discords. Uh, 180 has a discord in his description. He's going to have to manage that. Um, and then um, I believe, and it's not my place to say, but I believe there are other YouTubers that you guys all have um, access to who may, may or may not have a discord. I heard that Herbie Herb has a discord. It may or may not be open to the public. I don't know. But I know for right now, and until the foreseeable future, Stephanie Brown's Discord will not be available. Um, if you have Discord, however, you can find individuals on Discord and add them as friends and have private conversations. You can also create your own Discord server for free if you want to do that. But uh, fair warning, it is work.
Okay, cool. Everybody uses VAC. Damn it. Oh, good God, VAC, you piece of shit. Yep. Sorry if I'm boring right now and ever, you guys. I just, let's see. Uh, he just wanted to help promote people and stuff. Uh, Ash says she left Herbie's. I got the Discord app way back when you guys told me about it, but I never did anything with it. So, little Kelly, you can find people on Discord if you know their Discord tag. God dang, everybody uses virtual audio cable. 180, damn it. Uh, banana. You used banana? VB. VB or hi-fi? Damn it. Okay, I got this. I got this. Jeebus. Donation where? All right, I'll donate to you. I'll donate to you because eventually someone's going to donate to me. Okay, there we go. I like to keep people going. Um, Let's see. So where were we? Not in stuff. You know no one's tags. Um, you know what's really weird? I should just start putting my stupid, my Discord tag in there. It'd be a lot easier than my email. <coughs> security alert, security alert. I really like this little, um, I really like this little thing. That's what she said. I like this little, um, it's very light. It is light. Okay, I just downloaded this. How am I going to do this? Am I going to set this up with you guys on the on the live? You want to see? Help me test and see if it works. Anyone? If I if you can't hear me in a minute, you know why? Because I just oop. Never mind. It's not going to work because I got to reboot. Okay, why don't you just use Discord? Why do you need to use all these other things? Because in order to get the, the element on here to use Discord, I need to have the AV split because it's using my microphone. Like, it has to be able to pick up my microphone and Discord. It, well, it doesn't give me the option to just say what I'm using right now to stream does not give me the option to uh, just use Discord. It only gives me the option for an audio mixer. And when I go into the audio mixer, it's default microphone and communications microphone. It doesn't give me the, the ability to just use my sound card, if that makes sense. Yeah, but in Streamlabs, you can just use that element um, and use Discord, and that's fine. Yeah, it's VAC. I can't handle the flipping shit. Hmm. Yeah, and I don't, uh, Streamlabs is not that hard to figure out. You just got to set it up. But I wanted to be, I wanted to be lightweight because I'm out of disk space, man. Come on. 
too hot to be taking apart my computer right now. I'm sorry, Andy, I'm lazy. Lazy to hell. Killer. Thanks, Drew. You're fucking hot. Cool. Very cool. Okay, close him down. Stop downloading Prawn. I'm not actually... I am... Uh, <laughs> you don't want to know what I just did. 180. You just don't even want to know what I just did. All right, so in order to set this up, I have to reboot my computer. That is all good. I will do so. I might do another might do another test with Streamlabs. It's just so laggy and heavy that I hate it so much. I could just use OBS with the Streamlabs tags, but I really don't want to go set up all the tags. Um, but we'll come back. We'll do some ass smear. We'll do some ass smear. Ooh, wait a minute. No, it does the same down thing. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You know what? I might be able to use the Streamlabs. Now that I'm looking at this. Hang on one second. Widgets. Labels. Media share. Give me a second, you guys. I'm kind of a dumbass right now. I'm so tired. I am so fucking tired right now. I know everybody says they're tired. I swear to God. I get out of the hospital. I had two more days off. I go back to work for seven days. And people are talking and dragging nonstop shit. Like that their life depends on it. And I'm just asking myself if anybody has a fucking hobby around here. Um, Let's see. Uh, do do. Let's see. Widget. I don't want a widget. I want a I do want a widget. I want it to be a widget. Hang on, you guys. Don't leave me. If you get bored, leave. Feel free. I love you anyway. But, um, Is there a Streamlabs uh, overlay that does audio? There is not. Oh, I hate you so much. All right. Uh, oh, shit. I just turned off my... Oh, I'm a mess. Hang on. Look, here's the thing. If you guys have a disagreement with your friend, call your friend. Like, don't go live. That's all. The end. Ooh, my VPN hate my ass right now. There we go. Okay. Server's back up. All good. All right. Um, stop downloading prawn. Victim to Marianne. What the hell? Camping again? I don't know. What do you guys want to do, Pugs? You guys want to go camping? You guys want to go camping? I don't know about camping. Um, you can't remember the last time you said it was too hot. Oh, uh, depending on where you are in Britain, man, it can get hot in the UK. Wow. Where the hell are you it, it, that you're British? Wow. Yeah, you know what? That's very true, Kayla Renee. I work from home. My office is in my house. My office is in my house. So people really do just need to get a... Um, no, I'm not on my phone, little lady. People need to get a hobby. They just need a hobby. Like, um, do animal, like animal rescue when I was... Uh, when I was young and like working, 
and going to school. I was, uh, I would go clean out dog kennels for the rescues, like the pound and stuff. And it was easy. You just take a hose and you like wash out all the dog poop and piss from the kennels. And then you take the doggies out and then you put them, you, well, you take them out first and you rinse all the poop out. And then you take the doggy and you put the doggy back in there and then you fill up their little bowl with food and water and pet them a little bit and then update their little, you know, card on the thing until people come adopt them. It's actually kind of nice because you're just like, you know, doing something to uh, contribute to animals who hurt nobody in the world other than people that deserve it because they're encroaching on other animals' territory. Um, and then one time when I was in between contracts for work, I went to volunteer at a women's shelter because I've been homeless before. So I went to the women's shelter and I volunteered there, like setting up rooms and like organizing food and organizing like that. You just call these places like, Hey, do you need a volunteer? And they're like, yeah, how many hours do you want to come work a week? And you're like, I don't know. How about like 20? You go do that and you'll talk to some people that like will adore you because nobody ever fucking helped them out before. You know what I mean? Or what's the other thing? There are people who have just been released from prison and can't find a job. They have no idea how to use a computer. They have skills, but they can't write a resume. There's computer labs that you can go work at where people could use your services and writing a resume for them. Helping them find a job. Let's see where some other things you can do with your time. Uh, there are cancer patients that need beanies that you could like crochet for them. Or blankets. Let's see what else can you do. Most of this stuff is either free, cheap. Uh, it just gets you, gets your mind off of the stuff that is like weird. You know what I mean? Food banks, food banks are a good place to volunteer at. The, every every town, every city has a pantry or a food bank in the United States, pretty much. Um, oh, suicide hotline. Uh, volunteering for like a, you know, we have something here where you can dial like three numbers. And it's not really a suicide hotline, but it's kind of like a support hotline. So let's say you're feeling overly stressed out and you just need someone to talk to you. You can dial this number and you can talk to someone. You could do that. You could be support for some stranger that will remember you for the rest of their life because you got them out of a tight spot when they just needed someone to listen to them for five minutes. Um, I don't know. There's all kinds of stuff you can do. I don't know. What do I know? Yep, soup kitchens. Everybody volunteers at the soup kitchen when? Everybody volunteers on the holidays. They always need people to make sandwiches for the homeless all year round because there are people who actually go out here I went in the city and they hand out clothing and clean clothing. And um, because one of the things when you're homeless that happens constantly is people steal your shit. Like you can't have things. When you're homeless, people will constantly steal your things. So they'll, um, they'll, there are organizations here, um, like the Union Gospel Mission. They will go out and see if anybody needs like dental work and try to get them into the dental clinic. They'll take out like a food table and they'll serve cold sandwiches or soup and under the bridges that people live under. But you don't have to do that if you're afraid of that. You can go into the kitchen and just make up all the sandwiches and you don't have to make all of them. But you could be one person that does that for two hours a day, twice a week. And I'm just saying that that doing those things gave me a lot of perspective about how bad things can be. They can be a lot worse because when I went homeless, I'm going to tell you, um, I was making good money. I just happened to be in between contracts and something didn't work out. And I was living with someone that I could no longer live with because they were abusive. And I had to make a choice. I made the choice and 
I had, it's a weird feeling being homeless, you guys. When it happens, you just, you like, you'll be sitting outside and you're like, I have nowhere to be. Like if you've worked your ass off your whole life, right? And just something bad happened, you start to realize you're like, wow, this is where, uh, where I am is my home. Like this is, this is me. Like this is it. This is just it. And so when that happens, you realize just how, just because somebody ends up in that situation doesn't mean they were a drug addict. It doesn't mean that they did, like, they just might have made about some bad choice. Um, and, you know, I'm not saying that drug addicts, whatever. I know somebody that chooses to be homeless so that he can spend all of his money on heroin, okay? I'm just going to put that out there. Some people do make it a choice, but a lot of people don't. And I remember thinking, I'm never going to come back from this. Like, once you lose your security, you, you don't you have nothing, right? But guess what? I did. And the only reason why I did is because there was somebody, an organization that helped me. They helped me. They gave me a place to stay for a few days. I had friends that gave me a place to stay for a minute, but I couldn't really do that to my friends, right? Like, you're going to crash on your friend's couch for a week or two? No organization gave me a place to stay for like a month and then I got a new job and then I got to this and then I got to that and then I got to this. and I was back right now I'm back where well a while ago I got back where I started the bad thing is way over in the past but you know and so I felt like I should repay someone for that because it could happen to anyone anyone uh, anyone I don't care how much money you have, it can happen to you. I don't care how much family you have, it can happen to you. It can happen to you. I remember saying one day to somebody, you know, I, I value my job. I'm very grateful for my job. I'm very grateful that I've been able to like have, make a life for myself and have the relationships that I have in life. And I said, because I've actually been, experienced homelessness and someone said, oh, your friends and your family would never allow you to go homeless. That's crazy. And I'm like, okay, reality check. It happens when you're too proud to ask anybody for help. You get, you fuck yourself. So I'm just going to put that out there and I'll shut up on that note. It happens. It happens. It can happen to anyone, anyone. It can happen to anyone. I promise you. So like, yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff that we take for granted, like sitting our, our flat or fat asses in a chair and like talking on YouTube or, you know, dwelling on our whatever. And I remember thinking when I got like this little setup, I was like, oh my God, I have a pillow again. It was so weird. Like I, if, if I even told you guys the jobs and the money I've made in the past, it was just a very, very weird feeling to go to from, you know, such a, a background to all of a sudden you just fucked because you're too proud to ask anybody to help you out. It sucks, but very valuable lesson. Anyway, now I'm getting all serious and boring the house. <laughs> Come give me another dislike the house. Hit it three times. We like it. Um, this is why I told my daughters as soon as you can buy a home. They did both. A roof over your head is as important in life. Shit happens fast. Um, buying a home does not guarantee that you will not be homeless. But yes, it does help. But it does not guarantee that you will not be homeless. I hope nobody has to experience Homelessness is not the worst thing that I've experienced in life, but it was pretty bad. I love doing what I do because I've been there too. Not homelessness, but other issues. Yeah, sure. Never bore the house. Well, that's sweet, but I know I do. Yeah, so far so good. I mean, it is one of those things. You know what I mean? Um, I'm not really one of those people that I don't feel like I want to own anything. I don't want to be that responsible. <laughs> but it is a wise it it can be a wise choice yeah 
Yeah, don't be scared, Lolo. Here's the thing. Like, no matter what you do in life, there are going to be people who can relate to you and then there are going to be people who want to crap on it, okay? You're always, though, if you're yourself and you're true to yourself, you're always going to have more people that will appreciate you than will crap on you. And what ends up happening to the people that crap on you is, first of all, they're wasting their time because nobody cares, okay? But what happens to people that crap on you is they're just not for you. They're just not your people. There's plenty of people on here that hate me and that I'm fine with that or don't like me. There's plenty of people on here that I do not like. I don't like them at all. And I'm fine with that. You can't take everyone with you. There's not room on your bus for everyone. But there is a lot of room on your bus for a lot of people. And a lot of people will be able to relate to you. And you'll get negativity. Of course, you're going to get that. Because there are some people everywhere in life that they want to judge you, you know, because it makes them, it makes them feel like better about themselves. But usually what I found, like the people that are judging you for something that they think they know about you or something that you expose about yourself, it's usually because there's that part is in them too and they hate it. So it's like because they can relate to you. That's just my opinion, allegedly. Um, wow, British Chippy, really? Wow. Did they pay you for that? I hope they did. <laughs> Sorry, I sound like I'm greedy about money, but I'm not. I just hope you would be compensated for that. In some way, even if it's just an accomplishment, you know, that you can, you got bragging rights. I guess you were compensated. But I mean, there's always going to be people out there that accuse you of this or accuse you of that or say this isn't true, whatever, you know, it's true, you know, it's not true. And, you know, you have convictions having spoken to you privately, um, you have an awesome story to tell. And once you figure out how you want to express it, just do it. You know, you can make the videos and put them on private. And then. When you're ready to publish them, just publish them, you know, um, and don't worry because you have a lot of people here that support you and want to see good things in life for you. And the people that don't, they're just not for you. That's all. It's the same for every one of us, you know, but I'm, I'm getting super serious. 180 probably hates me right now, but, um, we are going to do some ass mirror. And I'm going to bounce, but I love you guys so much. Um, I got to go turn on my damn air conditioner and I got to go out. I got to get the fuck out of here. Excuse my language. I got to get out of this hot ass house right now because it's real warm. I don't know. The insulation is crazy in here. Um, I got to go put on my air conditioner, get outside in the sun. Uh, repetition creates false truth, gossiping, buttholes spread fake truths on everyone. That's true. They do. It's not very nice. Um, I'll end up having to be, that's okay. Some people need, uh, help. Bye horse says Ash. Um, we'll see you at ladies night. That's tomorrow. I think we'll see you before then. Um, yeah. Yeah, um, you should share because you will bring some people with you a lot, I think. And I think that one of the things that was most surprising to me is how many people gave a shit about anything I had to say about anything. You know what I mean? And it's just, that's the sense of community that is relevant to me or important to me. Um, everything else is just, white noise it's become so common now that it just there's nothing shocking now i got that damn jane's addiction song uh record in my head all right you guys i'm gonna talk to you later i want to thank you for coming into my short test it's two hours long it's not thursday tomorrow's thursday um you need to go to sleep 180 or something get some rest can you
because there might be Asmir later. I don't know. There might be Asmir at some point. Tomorrow is going to be a little busy, but um, because there's ladies' night tomorrow, and then I'm going. I'm going to go check out Stop Gaps or Farewell Show. But um, I will talk to you guys later. I hope you have a great Wednesday. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for coming by. I hope that anybody who wants to start a channel just does it. Just do it. You can reveal as much or as little as you want and test the waters. Okay. All right. I love you guys so much. Be good. Be good. Ignore all this, this stuff that like stresses you out or causes your brain to malfunction in a weirdo kind of way. Just ignore it. Okay. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Love you so much. See you guys.